there is one temple, Marva Agar temple, where Lord Shiva is uh, worshipped in the form of a doctor. So during the, the, the British rules, there was a colonel by the name of uh, Martin. Beautiful story actually. And you see, during the British rules, you know, they brought lots of missionaries to evangelize India. And of course, when missionaries come, they will not evangelize in a nice way, you know. So you have seen what they did in Latin America. You have seen what they do in the world itself, you know. Because people think that they are the only one who hold God as capture, you know, the truth. So during this time, there was this colonel, Martin. So there was a war, I think it was in, uh, I can't remember the year, 1739, something like that, between the Afghan and uh, the British. So he was in the war. So he, they have promised, he had promised his wife that he will write to give news to him, to her, you know. So after the war, after a few days, there were letters were coming and then the letters stopped coming. So the wife got worried. So one day she was going in her chariot, chariot, yes, chariot, and um, she heard bell and conch being blown and uh, heard music. So she wonder, was wondering and she asked, what is it here? So they said, oh, this is a temple for Lord Shiva. So she went down and uh, of course she didn't know about Lord Shiva, she didn't know anything about uh, the Hindu culture. So the devotees of Lord Shiva saw her and were wondering, you know, it's a British lady and, uh, but she don't look happy. So then they ask her, what is wrong? So she said, my husband used to write to me, but then, then she, he stopped writing. And they assure her, that listen, just chant Om Namah Shivai for 11 days. I'm sure Lord Shiva will protect and will give you news for your, for your husband, you know. You see how Bhagwan called his uh, people, you know? how he remind the people. So as she did that, for 11 days she was chanting Om Namah Shivaya, Om Namah Shivaya. On the other side, on the other place with her husband, they were surrounded by the enemies. So they were surrounded by the enemies and the enemies was uh, going to attack and kill them all. At that precise moment, when they were all losing hope, a man just appeared with matted lock, you know, matted hair, you know, and holding a, 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 a trident in the hand and start fighting with, every, uh, with, uh, with the enemies. So they were all shocked and all the enemies start running away from all direction. So after they all have run away, that man came in front of him, of uh, the colonel, Martin, and said, it is by the grace of uh, your wife, prayer, that you have been safe. She has sent me, through her sincere prayer, she has sent me to protect you. Go back home, be fearless, 
you will be success, you will have great success into your life. So sending him home, after a few days he reached home, he was telling, you know, we were safe because of this great uh, yogi who just appeared out of nowhere and then started fighting the enemy. Then the wife said, oh, you know, I went to a temple, Vedraj Mahadev, you know, so I, we have to go and say thank you to, 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 to the deity there. So when he came to the temple, to his shock when he looked at how Lord Shiva is portrayed there in that temple, it was exactly the image of that yogi. So he realized that it was Lord Shiva who have called him. And so both husband and wife became great devotee of Lord Shiva. And then they, this is the only temple in India which were constructed by the British. So they construct the whole temple. And even now when you go to this temple, like I say, the names is written there. So you see, the mystery of how Bhagwan called his devotee is amazing, you know. And that's why I say this, if everybody's life, you know, there is always a story behind there. Because you belong to him. When you belong to him, he will find his ways of calling you. The same way, he have to come to liberate Jaya Vijaya for this free life itself, you know. The same way, countless of lives you have come, again, again and again, he will come and reminding you of his love and relationship to you. So, Jai Gurudev, everyone.